day one training with Miss Reva on our beginning obedience. Here you can see the first thing we have to work on is getting her to understand how to take a treat and also almost how to eat a treat. Whenever I give the puppies the treats, they're a little bit softer, um, not similar to kibble. So they're not entirely sure how to eat them to start off with. So one of the first steps of training is really just kind of showing them how to eat a treat. Now they have had like little chewy treats already, but they've never had um, this specific type of soft treat. So as you can see, she kind of plays with it a lot in her mouth. It takes her a little while to figure out how to chew it. Um, also how to take it from my hand. As we progress, she starts to understand and she's able to move on a lot faster. In the next part of this video, you're going to see Reva and I working on her sit and release. I right away start teaching puppies sit means sit until I otherwise ask you to move. Reva's release word is release. So right here, we're really working on teaching her how to hold that impulse control. Impulse control is absolutely important. Really getting your dog to understand how to sit still, hold still, not be crazy and jump all over the place. So here we're really, really just trying to get her to understand even though she's happy and she wants that treat, she needs to just sit there and patiently wait until I ask her to move. Now that Reva kind of has a better understanding, you can see she's holding that sit a whole lot better. I am clicking and rewarding at a high rate of reinforcement, meaning almost every second she's kind of getting a treat, um, but that's to really start to be able to teach her to hold it. As we move on through the video, you'll start to see I'm not having to have those treats in front of her face. She's really just starting to understand to hold it longer. And there's that release. Right here, after our kind of little reset to bring them back, you can see me get down and even call her to come to me. So we've already started practicing recall. So coming when called. She does really, really good with this as you can see in the video. In this part of the video, we are now working on eye contact. So starting to teach her that when she looks at me, good things happen. If we have a puppy who's paying attention and focused on us, then they're going to be listening, watching, waiting for you to ask for that next command versus being a dog who's just all over the place, easily distracted. So right away we start working on, hey, if you look at me, awesome, great things happen.
And here I go ahead and I move a little bit closer to the camera so you can better see that she's actually looking directly into my eyes, really, really watching me and focusing on me, waiting to see what's going to happen next. And our last and little final piece of homework that we worked on today is a hand target. Hand targets are our gateway to introducing them to targeting. When we do targeting, we'll be doing targeting for the bells, um, getting them to touch the bell when they need to go potty. That's a target. We're also going to be teaching our puppies to go to place, which is a bed. And that again is a target. Also teaching your dogs to go into their kennel on command again as a target. So this is just our fun little introduction to targeting and really getting their brain to understand how to go to something when asked. And at the end of every training session, we have this big party, extra praise, extra love, and make it this very positive ending.